Let's say you want an image that's larger than the thumbnail but smaller than the medium image. Okay, here's what you do. You would do browser scaling on this image. And here's how you would do that. Select the image, click this little edit image button. And this dialog is going to come up and you can scale it down 90%, 80%, 70%. Okay, remember the small image is 150 by 150. So if we scale that this image down 70%, it's going to be about 200. And then when I view the class, it's going to be somewhere between a small size and a um, thumbnail size. By default, the image will be hyperlinked to a pop-up, to a larger pop-up image. So let's, let's remove that hyperlink. The other thing you can do is you can select the image and then just hit the hyperlink button and hyperlink it to an external site or to another page. Okay. Okay. Let's let's say I want to insert a second image down here. Put your cursor there and insert second image. Let's put them in um, right aligned to thumbnail size. Insert into post update and then we'll refresh this page okay so this worked but if the image is overlapped you could possibly get some weird alignment like if you tried to put this image in you know up here you would have gotten some weird alignment and you know sort of the easiest way to um, override that problem to overcome that problem is to alternate left and right alignment of images so for example let's put if you can have a lot of images you can alternate them so let's go ahead and edit that image and insert that image left aligned and refresh the site here Okay.